Thank you. And now I rise in strong support of S3110, the American Energy and Conservation Act of 2016. This would increase revenue sharing with the states for offshore oil and gas development. And this legislation is scheduled for a vote here on the Senate floor tomorrow. I'm pleased that the Senate is finally voting on this really critical legislation. And I want to thank my colleague from Louisiana, Senator Cassidy, for his lead and his hard work on this crucial issue. Senator Cassidy and myself and several of our colleagues have worked hard over the years to bring this issue to the forefront and help both Congress and the American people understand how important revenue sharing is to Louisiana, to other energy producing states, but to the country, for the good of the country, to expand American energy. And I also want to thank Leader McConnell and Chairman Murkowski for working with us to bring this important bill to the floor for a vote. Revenue sharing with oil and gas producing states is only fair for two key reasons. First, energy producing states incur real costs and real impacts from that production, including environmental. And second, revenue sharing is the most important way we can continue to incent domestic energy production over the long term in this country. So it makes it fair and smart for our U.S. energy future. Energy production is essential to job creation and an overall healthy economy. And if it weren't for the oil and gas jobs that accompanied the energy sector boom earlier this decade, we would have remained and perhaps still be in a technical recession. One point I want to emphasize is that many of those jobs have been created by small firms in the oil and gas sector and support sectors. These small business energy jobs are something I've highlighted in my chair, in my role as chair of the Small Business and Entrepreneurship Committee. And that is vital in terms of the impact in this sector. This legislation would increase revenue sharing for the Gulf states that produce energy offshore and would establish revenue sharing for new production off of Alaska and off of Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. These are all areas that welcome the opportunity to have this revenue sharing to incent domestic energy production and increase the availability of American energy. Contrary to what some have said, this legislation would not authorize any new offshore drilling. Let me repeat, this legislation does not provide for new or expanded lease sales. This bill is about revenue sharing. Now let me be clear on what revenue sharing means for states like Louisiana, but there are many more. In Louisiana, we spend 100% of these revenues on environmental concerns, specifically coastal restoration. We lose about a football field of land in coastal Louisiana. Just think of a football field like you watch every Sunday in an NFL game. That amount of land just in coastal Louisiana every 38 minutes. And that's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year. No time off for weekends, holidays, nothing. It's a constant loss. It's an environmental disaster. That's the most significant environmental issue by far that we face in our state. And so our state is committed to spending all the money that we receive from revenue sharing to restoring and rebuilding and protecting our coast. That's vitally important for Louisiana, but it's also vitally important for the rest of the country because Louisiana supplies so much energy that's good for America. Let me be clear on what this legislation does. It expands revenue sharing to Alaska and the mid-Atlantic states. So it has impacts well beyond the Gulf in a very positive way. Beginning in 2027, Alaska, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia would begin receiving 37.5% revenue sharing from oil and gas production off of their coasts, which is what Louisiana, Texas, Alabama, and Mississippi 
receive on new production there. It would also increase revenue sharing that those Gulf states receive under the Gulf of Mexico Energy Security Act of 2006, or GOMESA. Under that law, revenue sharing in those four Gulf states is capped at $500 million per year between all of them. But beginning in 2027, that cap would increase substantially. And that cap right now is completely arbitrary and far too low. Revenue sharing is vital when it comes to adequately compensating states that help provide so much U.S. energy. It needs to be adequate if we're going to continue to incent those states, states to play that very important role in our U.S. economy. This legislation would help bring that objective to reality, and it's a critical component of a robust, strengthened revenue sharing regime for those major energy producing states. So I urge my colleagues to pass this important legislation. Again, I thank everyone who has worked on this, starting with my colleague from Louisiana, Senator Cassidy, uh, who will be speaking exactly on this topic, I believe, immediately following me. So with that, I welcome the Senator's remarks, and I yield the floor.